All right. When I gave you the definition of Euler's relation, we should have included that this is true for connected planar graphs. Remember, a connected graph does not have to be a complete graph. We just have to make sure that each vertex can somehow be connected to another one. There, there's a path between vertices always. So let's start with the most basic connected planar graph, which is just a single vertex. So number of vertices is one, number of edges is zero, number of regions is one. So this whole region, the whole plane. And so Euler's relation is true. V minus E plus F equals two. That's true. So let's think about creating graphs from here, connected planar graphs. One way that I could do that is to add a new vertex. So if I add a new vertex, that also means I have to add one new edge to ensure that it's still connected. So my number of vertices has increased by one, my number of edges has increased by one, and my number of faces remained the same. So I have not created any new regions. This is still just one big region. So plugging into Euler's relation, V plus one minus E plus one, plus f is still true. So we know that our relationship still holds true. The other way to create, continue creating a connected planar graph is if we already have a number of points and vertices, sorry, a number of vertices and edges, the other way we can create a connected planar graph is to add an edge between two existing edges. So we can leave our vertices unchanged. So our new vertices is the same as our old number of vertices. Now our new number of edges. So if this was our original graph, now I'm gonna add in a new edge. So our number of edges has new edges as our old edges plus one. And now our number of faces the new faces is the number of old faces plus one. So notice I now have a region inside and a region outside. So looking at Euler's relation, if I take my number of new vertices plus my number of new edges, sorry, not plus, minus, plus my number of faces, so notice that could be they're equal, so I can use either one. Euler's relation is still holding true because always if I add a new edge without adding new vertices, I'm gonna create a new region. If I add a new vertice and a new edge, but don't connect it back in another way, then I don't create any new faces. So this graph could have looked like something like this, adding this on, I won't have created any new regions. So always with this minus here, I'll end up canceling out whatever new thing that I added. So Euler's relation is always gonna hold true for connected planar graphs.